Wait a minute. This stuff is not coffee. Warning, safety warning. Make certain before you drink your coffee that you make sure you have your coffee cup. You have to think about these things carefully before you act. You could injure yourself. That's all right. I'm a professional. I'll look it up on the International Super Begonia Highway. That is the Internet. And find out what to do about food poisoning later. When I was sleeping this morning, my beloved roommate, my companion, the only person that loves me, Bentley, was sleeping at the foot of my bed. I was half awake, and I saw Bentley levitating up towards the ceiling. And I wondered, why am I the only one that sees this? Doesn't anyone else see it? Bentley said, listen, old man, your subscribers are dropping. You have no ability anymore. You've lost your talent. You're no longer a legend in your own mind. Stop doing videos. And I thought, what the hell does a dog know? He's only a levitating dog. Then I thought back on it, and I remember the frog that I talked to in the mornings on the windowsill in the kitchen. He also said, you're a has-been, you're through, you're old, and you talk too slow. And you're dark. So I said, the hell with it. I went out to get the mail. Went out to the mailbox. And there it was, the property tax statement. I came back in the house, I sat in my recliner, and I opened the letter. And there were the figures. As I'm watching the news, reading my letter, I hear the newsman say, the recession ended a year ago, June. Everything's fine. And then I looked at my property tax statement. And I don't know how fine it is. I mean, I I kind of put up with this when my shares of stock dropped. I, by the way, paid $94.60 a share for them, and they're now worth $28.48. This is not good. I mean, I can sense that. But I'm going to wait. I'm not going to sell them. It costs too much to sell them. I'll wait until 3014, and those stocks could be worth $80 a share. I wouldn't take much of a financial loss, then everything would be fine. That's why I never eat pears. But that's neither here nor there. The house was appraised at 200000 plus a few years back. You know what it's appraised at now? $138. I don't know why I can't, I can't even face it. $138 thousand dollars and 48 cents I tend to exaggerate and that wasn't a hundred and thirty eight dollars it's one hundred and thirty eight thousand I'm not gonna edit that this is a serious problem not to me because I bought a reverse mortgage a couple years back when the house was worth two hundred thousand they gave me $120,000 for the house, and I thought, man, I've been ripped off. <laughs> now the house is worth 138000 so who really gets ripped off? So it doesn't bother me. Maybe it's because I've gone out of my mind, and I talk to frogs and levitating dogs. But I don't have anyone that loves me to, to leave it to, so it's no loss. It's going to be a loss for the bank and the finance company. I am so sorry for them. But I can't help but think there are a lot of people that do have people that love them. They're not a lone duck in the world. And wealth in this country, one of the main ways that wealth is achieved is by old people like me leaving everything they have to someone who's younger. And that's being blown away. We don't talk about it. It's like we don't talk about those evil low-life politicians at Bell, California, where the average income is $20,000 a year, and the city manager was making over 800 and some million dollars a year. I wonder if they thought to look into that situation and do something about all the homes that were foreclosed on in Bell by those politicians so they could get the money. That's a real mess. It's sad because that method of passing on wealth has seriously been tainted. Now, we watch the news. You know, watching news, we talked last week on whether he walks 
watch Fox or CNN or PBS? CNN won. PBS also won. Fox got one comment from a conservative friend of mine. It's just something weird about all of this, maybe maybe even scary, but we're getting close to Halloween, so I guess it's all right. Some facts. Democracy is mob rule. That's what I was told. I never thought in my lifetime I would see the reality of democracy. I see the mob on television. I saw the mob on CBS, NBC. I saw the mob on CNN. MSNBC, I saw the mob. I don't know if Fox bothered to show us the mob. But they're a scary group of people. I mean, I've lived history. And in my lifetime, I've never seen so many crazed, out-of-control people. I like to equate this to aviation. In learning to fly, one of the things they tell you in one of the first classes is a cute little saying. There are old pilots and there are bold pilots, but there are no old, bold pilots. I think our President Barack Obama, who even though I'm very frustrated, frustrated with him, I still think he was the duly elected President of the United States and therefore deserves a certain amount of respect. And we have this crazed mob. Look at their posters. They're really bad. Most of them, I think, are on Social Security, so it's fine for them to be in the public trough, but be damned if this system of ours tries to help the poor. They, they yell and they scream. They have no plan, no platform. They just want everything to be changed. I'll say it over and over again. The problem with Barack Obama, the bold president, as a bold pilot is, he tried to compromise. He tried to talk with these illogical, foaming-at-the-mouth radicals. A terrible mistake. You see, the country, I like to equate it to an airplane, all shiny, a Boeing 747, shining chrome reverse mufflers and an instruction manual. First thing it tells you when you get into the section in the instruction manual about how to deal with a crisis in the cockpit. Believe me, this country has a crisis in the cockpit. Rule number one, stay calm because you cannot control the aircraft when you're screaming, we're all going to die and running around in a circle foaming at your mouth. You must stay calm. As the airplane begins into the dive and it starts to spin and you hear that remarkable sound that only an airplane makes when it's spinning to the ground out of control, you must remain calm. You must look at your instrument panel. Look for a gauge that's like this, that is normally like that. If the gauge is like that, you must push the rudder pedal, pedal to make the gauge go this way. That means pushing the opposite of this to straighten it out. If you try to look at the spinning ground, you will never figure it out, and you will crash, and everybody will die, and you will be sued, and your airline will achieve a bad reputation. It's no different with this country. The airplane is out of control. We better look carefully at the gauges, and we must stay calm. We will get nothing from this crazed crowd that doesn't even know how to fly an airplane, except a crash. And we're heading for a crash right now. Is that too dark for you? Anyway, you're safe. I'm not going to make any more videos. <laughs> I didn't make one today. And I'll probably do the same thing next week. Scary, isn't it?